Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Oh, and how about this? An onside kick to start the game. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now Purdy. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. He's still barreling through. <laughs> and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact, but that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Now a second and ten. Out of the gun, Purdy. Incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Shotgun now with Purdy. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And it's knocked away and incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Not too shabby here. This will skip out of bounds at about the 12 yard line. the man in motion right fakes the handoff now O'Connell to throw and this intercepted on the first play of the game picked up by Telemore Hufanga and into the end zone a pick six from the 49er D as they score the touchdown for a pick six on the first play of the drive. And, Charles, we have our first points of the game, making it six to nothing. And while it's only six points in the first quarter, it certainly takes a lot of pressure off of them, doesn't it? They're in the lead. They have control. Now they just want to settle in and play their game and defend that advantage. Purdy and the Niner offense, they'll stay on the field. They'll try to go for two here. They'll look to throw. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. 
And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, Barton, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. O'Connell from the gun on third down. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37th. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. In motion right goes Adams. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end and that play going nowhere. On second down, O'Connell. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Gibson. Down the right sideline. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Now, there's a reason they call him a ball hawking safety. It looked like he read that, Charles, and he wasn't stopping there. After he got it, he took it all the way to the house to widen their lead. And what's interesting to me, Brandon, is that our spotter, Bruce Murray, right before that snap, pointed to his number on my play sheet. Got to see him a little bit as a ball hawk and a return man that time, didn't we? That's just the type of play they expect from him, and he delivers in a big way. Nice call, Bruce. That is caught. He's got it. And the lead will move to 14 to nothing. So their second touchdown this first half, they went for two after score number one, didn't get it, now they get the equalizer, so to speak. So to speak, and you can understand the thinking. Because they didn't get it after the first score, they wanted to get back to a normal points pattern, get up to 14. But just think if they missed it here, only up 12 to nothing, one extra point on the other side could ultimately beat you if they score twice. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. He'll buy some time right. He'll let this go for Adams. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Second and ten. In motion right, one of the tight ends. Off the play fake, O'Connell. He'll get that out to the flat to right. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. First carry of the game from Zamir Wright, and he's gonna have the Raiders first down. He needed five, he got it barely, as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. Well, you're down early, how do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit, and find our way back into this game. 
And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Play action. Now Connell. That's caught by Tucker. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Adams the man in motion right. On first and 10, it's O'Connell. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. Here's second and 10. Now a give up the middle. This is White. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Now it's O'Connell. He completes it right side to White. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. O'Connell here on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And it'll be a turnover on downs. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Back to throw, Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this out past the 25. On first down, Purdy. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. That thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for the Niners. 44 yards. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. A good first down call as the screen play gets a nine. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And the 49ers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Here's first and goal, and gosh, 
points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. McCaffrey will score. Touchdown for the Niners. This is right in Kyle Shanahan's wheelhouse. He'll go for two here. Purdy will throw for it. And try to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Merrig. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And now the clock reads precisely one minute to go in the half. Do you want to run the one-minute offense? This is a good test right here. It certainly is, and definitely not a time to think about kneeling and going into the half. This is a chance to attack a little bit, but not having to get everything in one shot either. Ten yards here, 15 there. Work the sidelines, work the clock. Give yourself a chance for at least a field goal going into the half. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Throwing, O'Connell. Same target, it's Jacobs again. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The Raiders gonna use one of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. He hits Adams complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. And now they're in the hurry up. O'Connell now to throw. Touchdown, Raiders! Michael Mayer in the final seconds of the first half. And the Raiders are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Zone. So they get two more on the board here just before halftime. Boy, still a half plus to play, but it is a two score game. They're going to go on side kick early. And the 49er hands team does its job. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half, Purdy. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon.
The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. And while we weren't quite there yet, you had to start to wonder if there's going to be any life left in this team. And that big return, that could be the exact spark to get them right back into this game. Throwing on first down, O'Connell. Open man, that's Renfro. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Renfro, the motion man. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Out of bounds at the 33 yard line. A 12 yard pickup brings up second and three. Here's a second and three now from the 33. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. It's a game of three. Brings up third and inches. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Trying to run forward with Jacobs. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. First down, here's White. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Now O'Connell. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They go play action here with O'Connell. On the move to his left. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Ah, oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Brings up second and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Aiden O'Connell punching it in from a yard away. And the Raiders have got it back to within a score. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is down to a field goal. Boy, it's only a one-score game. Third quarter, mind you, but they're going to go for the onside kick right here. And the 49er hands team does its job. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen, steal a possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game.
They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Hustling through to break that play up, Max Crosby. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he is going to have the 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Purdy from the gun. He'll get this out wide right here to McCaffrey. Touchdown! Christian McCaffrey. He scored with one hand through the air. And the 49ers get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here. And they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Here's O'Connell. And it's complete to Adams. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a game of 23 yards. And the Las Vegas first down. Play action. Now O'Connell. This is caught by Tucker. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. 
not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second and six coming up. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll get him a little space here up to the five-yard line. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. That second down play nets a minus four. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. Now we'll get whistles, and they've signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Now Purdy. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Oh, they try a lateral on the return, and now the ball's loose. in that fourth quarter as they held their